Hello, Creative Writing 2 students. It's Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. And this is the, finally, the introduction to your trimester project um, and starting of your project proposals. I'm gonna go through um, my expectations for this project uh, and what our next steps are and what it's going to look like. I don't have specifics entirely because obviously everything is still developing, but I can give you the basic information so that you can get started on your project proposals. All right, so the Creative Writing 2 trimester project, you will spend the next seven weeks developing and revising one choice writing project, and this project could be any of the following, um, or you could come up with something else entirely as long as it's creative writing in some fashion and you we talk through it together. Examples of things that have been done in the past, a one act play, a short story, a collection of poetry, a screenplay with multiple scenes, graphic novel, a creative nonfiction piece, and more. The choice is yours. That's the beauty of this. Not only do you get to be creative, but you get to choose what you write. So how exactly is this going to work? Um, first, we're going to start with proposal writing. Once you submit your proposals, I will be reading them and then asking you questions and giving you feedback on what expectations should be. Um, the most important thing that's coming out of the proposal process is what you want to create and what your plan is going to be. Um, I think the first question students that pop into students' heads is seven weeks. I can spend seven weeks writing a story? Yeah. But that also means you have to demonstrate that it was seven weeks worth of work. Um, so that story needs to be a longer short story. It needs to be revised and developed and um, really... Uh, crafty, done with craft. I can speak. <laughs> um, if you're doing a collection of poetry, that means that you are doing a collection of poetry. You are writing a collection of poems, maybe 10 plus. Um, a one act play has a complete arc. A creative nonfiction piece might be a series of articles about something you're interested in or a person you're interested in. So this isn't just one story like you would do in creative writing one you are really putting a lot of time and energy into that work that you are working on. All right, and we will um, work through those expectations uh, together. So after um, I give you feedback on your proposal and we talk through expectations and your plan, then you will come up with a writing schedule that aligns with my check-ins that I do with you, um, that you are required to do. And so essentially I check in and give you feedback on where you're at. If you told me you were gonna be halfway through your collection of poetry by said date, then when I check in with you on that date, you should be that far on your portfolio. And then of course there will be revision opportunities throughout the process as well. I will ultimately get to see this work after working on it with you for the next seven weeks and give you feedback on it. And this is, your grade, this is it. So you get a um, semester check-in grade and a final check-in grade, and it's most of it's based on this project. We will be doing a reading um, and analysis project in addition to this, and I'll be introducing that on Friday. It's not gonna be super hefty, but it is gonna supplement this work and it's all connected. So that's what's to be expected. If you have questions, I'm sure you already do, feel free to email them to me. Um, I would love to answer them or pop into my office hours. All right, the proposal writing process is going to start today and go through tomorrow, and these proposals are due on Friday at midnight. This is going to be for grade, all right, so you will be getting a grade on the proposal itself. Step one is to read the directions. Two is check out the, the example that's provided to you, and three, work on your proposals and submit them by Friday on Classroom. This is the document that's posted to Google Classroom. It breaks down what the proposal should look like, and then it has the sample. As you can see, this is this took someone time to craft. They revised it, they thought carefully about it. They're specific. I know exactly what's expected of them. So please make sure that you're looking at that example and meeting the expectations that I have of you. I think that's it. I'm really excited to see what you all are brainstorming and what you're going to craft for me. Be creative, do something you've always wanted to do. This is offering you finally a time in high school to do it. All right, so take advantage. Send me emails if you have questions.